Okay, so one of the hallmarks of a good software is it should, it should let you produce something useful or like, yeah, production should be made useful. So, and of course, programming languages are software too. And, uh, and it should, uh, what to say, it should be able to, it should have the ability to make you create software with ease and Clojure does that really well, right? So one of the first softwares I just, wrote with closure okay i actually wrote three softwares with closure personal softwares and i'm very happy about it so one of the softwares i wrote with closure is called kanipan so let's say like i just want to multiply six and seven so i can just give something like okay six and yeah you can't put star in your term so you need to escape this like this and and if you just put like this and it just gives an answer so i can just put like uh, okay 500 minus 200 and yeah so i will get it yeah of course yeah like it takes some time to start but yeah i can just put something like this and without any arguments now i just have a terminal so i can just put like okay like 40 plus 2 and uh, i'll just get it instantly so uh this is a software which i wrote in closure I i'm not saying it is absolutely not without bugs they there are some bugs in it when you do very complex calculations but it works right so i'm and i'm very happy about it so that's the thing and i should be actually doing a video series on how to write this software but yeah due to my laziness i didn't do so that's the thing and yeah so that's one software i created with closure and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be putting it, uh, all those links. And another I just wrote is called Static Site Search. So, okay, so this is my blogging site. And uh, and if you just go here, it has a search page. Okay, so that's the thing. And, uh, and you can search for something. You can even search for closure, right? So, okay, so uh, yeah, recursions in closure, right? Uh, okay, I don't know why I mention closure over here so okay yeah there is a closure stuff i just wrote in my personal blog and this search is written with closure and this is you can get its code over here right so that's the thing. and uh yeah so uh and you can also build static uh search for you so i mean you can build a search for your static website so yeah and so this is very helpful so for a very long time if you're having something like a jekyll or uh what to say hugo website or something like that search is search was like kind of a dream and uh and okay and this software makes the dream come true okay so it's not so difficult anymore right so yeah so this is a personal software i wrote with closure okay so even though i'm just telling this as uh, what to say greatness of closure or something like that uh, these softwares can be used by anybody so and the third thing is uh, is a jewel uh, in my closure crown okay so like okay in one company i was asked to learn react js even though they really know that i'm a back-end developer so i need to learn front end and i, I and you need to have a back end in order to get data for the front end right so so i need to code some front end i need to code the back end and then what to say like uh then use it and all those stuff and yeah and if i am coding back end then i won't be concentrating on my front end and all those stuff so what if there is an automated back end like you can just imagine a back end where all your apis are just there it might sound magical but it's not okay so like uh so uh since i'm a decent enough backend developer i was able to develop a backend like that and this was written in closure right so so with the software any front-end developer can start his project without re relying on a backend developer he can get to a poc stage and all those stuff and yeah so this software is called easy and this too has been written in closure right so so these are the three personal softwares which I wrote with Clojure and I think it will also benefit the world. So, so that's why I'm just making this video and I'm just making this Clojure Diary video of a, after a long time. So rather than make a heavyweight video, uh, what to say, like I just thought of making a lightweight video. And the next video I think will be about like how I'm coding this GraphQL stuff for this 
uh, what to say automated backend called Inji, right? So yeah. So until the next video, bye and happy closing and happy using software that's been written in closure, right? Okay, bye.